good evening. I'm Ashley Waterhouse. Ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. It don't matter anyhow. Ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. If you don't know by now, when the rooster crows at the break it on. Walking down that long lonesome road, gal. Where I'm headed, I can't tell. But goodbye, goodbye is too good a word, babe. So I just say very well. Now I ain't saying you treated me on time. You could have done better. But I don't mind if you just sort of wasted my precious time. Very nice. Um, welcome to uh, Alabama Acoustics. I'm your host, David Walker. And uh, with me today is our guest, George Frangoulis, correct? Yes. And uh, how long have you been uh, playing guitar, George? Um, since the seventh grade, so that's like four years, I think. Cause I'm, okay, I'm in the 10th grade now. And so that's like three and a half to four years, I'd say. Yeah, so you're in 10th grade. How old are you? 15. 15? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. I think. And uh, what kind of, uh, what got you interested in playing guitar, you think? Um, I don't know, but I guess just like watching, you know, rock and roll singers and listening on the radio. Uh -huh. um, just basically, just, you know, just, I guess all the like, I guess just like, you know, like little guys just want to play guitar and sing. Um, Did you think it was like a good way to meet chicks and stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, you guys had those little fantasies in your head when you like lying in your room, like listening to the radio to like the pop station mm -hmm. because you, know, you just liked all the songs that came on and you're like, okay, well, I could be like that guy. Well, like what are the kind of music that you like? Obviously Bob Dylan, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, right. That's all right. Yeah, I like Bob Dylan. He's probably one of my favorites. If not my all-time favorite. Hmm. I feel kind of bad because I left out a verse of that song. But oh. uh, That's all right. Yeah. Anyways, I forgot. I started playing the last verse and I was like, oh man. <laughs> Well, maybe later on we can get you to go through the whole song again. But, uh, like, besides Bob Dylan, who are some of your other uh, favorites? Well, I like the Grateful Dead, too. Um, mm -hmm. I like Nirvana a lot. Actually. Really? Yeah. N Nirvana and the Grateful Dead. Yeah, I know. I know they kind of conflict. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I still like them. Your favorite Nirvana song? Favorite Nirvana song? Uh -huh. I kind of like Dumb. Yeah. And I, also, I also like uh, Lithium. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, okay. And uh, to play another song for you. Okay. Um, this is a song I wrote. It's called Microscopic Creatures in My Hair. And uh, it goes kind of like this. Microscopic creatures in my hair, hair. Microscopic creatures. 
beautiful creatures make me feel like she microscopic creatures like an orange sea orange Thanks, Bruce. That was great. Thank is there you. a uh, deep meaning to microscopic creatures? Yeah. Is there? Yeah, sure is. What is it? Well, I can't. I don't want to go into it now. It's kind oh, okay. Kind of and, all right. Excellent. So we were talking before about, uh, you know, you, you like both Nirvana and the Grateful Dead. Yeah. And, uh, like, what about the dead do you like? Well, I basically like any kind of band that kind of fights out and speaks against oppression. I know, like, the dead not so much, but in, like, a lot of their stuff they do, and just, like, the fact mm -hmm. of, like, their culture, what they did. Like, there's some songs, like, um, example, Throwing the Stones, a totally, like, you know, fight the power kind of song. Right. And uh, Standing on the, the Moon. Um, I, Nirvana did the same thing, not just what it did. That's also why I like people like Bob Dylan and Bob Marley mm -hmm. and Sex Pistols. I'm really eclectic as far as music goes. Well, that's a good thing to be, I think, not to be pigeonholed into one. Like, I know some people who just, like, will only listen to the Grateful Dead or Fish. They won't listen to like, like Nirvana, or even uh, Jane's Addiction or anything like that. But yeah, like, like most of the great uh, musical people, I think, have draw a little bit from lots of different types of music. You know, mm -hmm. like I was listening to. There's a great uh, Dead cover actually by Jane's Addiction. They did oh, a really? song Ripple. I don't know if you've ever. Uh, heard yeah, it. Ripple, like on uh, American Beauty. Yeah, it's a it's a terrific terrific uh, cover of that song. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. But what other uh, what other groups do you do you like besides those two? Um, let's see. I said the Sex Pistols. Right. What about the Pistols? Do you like? Like the you know the whole thing about fighting out against the power. You mm -hmm. know, like kind of complaining about it and like you know saying this is bad. Like fighting against oppression. The anarchy aspect of it, you think? Yeah, well, not so the anarchy as say like just like they're about they are they are always one of the things they were like totally against was. Uh, Say like racism and stuff. Yeah. They used. They even use Nazi propaganda in some of their like, like their clothes and stuff, kind of making fun of uh, the whole idea, and saying sort of like Britain was essentially a fascist government, even though it defeated the Nazis in World War II. Mm -hmm. That's why they sided with Bob Marley in the reggae movement. Like there's a song by Bob Marley called "Punky Reggae," something. Yeah, something like that. Something. You like? Uh, are you a big fan of the reggae? I like. I like some reggae. I like Bob Marley. Bob Marley and uh, his kids, I guess, Ziggy and... Uh, yeah, I like Ziggy. Whatever. There's a... Uh, I don't know. We need this... Uh, Cliff is like a real big reggae guy. He's the other host of Alabama Acoustics. But anyway, can you play us another song? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, this song is another song I wrote. It's okay. called Bob James, the leader of the KKK. All right. And it goes kind of like this. It's kind of Ramones inspired. Okay. 
King. It's a um, I'm the uh, currently the managing director at the ICR, and, and what.